John Minor, a farmer in Fika, about 45 kilometers from Kenya's capital Nairobi, is about to begin plowing his one hectare farm in preparation for the planting season. But before he can do this, he ensures that the tractor is in working condition. For the past year, Miner has turned to mechanized farming courtesy of an app known as Tinga, which when translated from Swahili means tractor. In the past, Miner would farm using manual labor, which according to him was both time-consuming and costly. Using the tractor has been really good and efficient. Before, when I used to hire workers to till manually, it would take up to three days. But using a tractor, one can take only two hours, and the harvests are much better. Tinga was developed two years ago by Kenyan app developers to help farmers get access to tractors at a fraction of its cost. Tinga operations manager Ken Mwangi notes that in one month, some 1,000 farmers used the services offered by Tinga. The app can be found on the Google Play Store, and by following a few simple steps through a series of prompts, the farmers can schedule a tractor at the time of their choosing. Plowing a hectare of land costs an average of $30. According to Mwangi, this has encouraged farmers countrywide to turn to mechanized farming. However, Mwangi says that there are challenges with literacy and access to smartphones. Most of our farmers don't have smartphones. This has uh, led to a situation where they cannot be able to request for our services. However, we have mitigated against this by providing uh, uh, our farmers with a text message number that they can use to also request the same services on uh, SMS. Tei Mokunya, the CEO of Azuri, began the health food manufacturing company seven years ago to encourage a healthy lifestyle through nutrition. Azuri indirectly employs about 5,000 farmers who supply raw materials for the company's product range. Azuri exports its products to Europe, Middle East, Asia and Africa. According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, KNBS, the number of farmers in the country who earned more than $1,000 dropped in the past year. Mukunya says that diversifying her products has meant that farmers have a stable income source. Farmers are in Kenya are small-scale farmers, so they grow very many products. So the wider the product range we have, it means that we're able to take more from the farmers. So we pick bananas, we pick beans, we pick maize, we pick mangoes, we pick all sorts of um, products, which then you find will be the same pool of farmers. It really boosts their income in that way. Dr. Christine Chege, an agricultural economist at the International Center for Tropical Agriculture, CIET, notes that persistent drought in parts of the country, coupled with the invasive fall armyworm, has diminished food security in the country. Chega says that affordability and access to healthy foods are key challenges in the country. So the climate changes that we're experiencing in Africa currently are, is affecting the production of various food commodities and of course that affects the consumption. And then secondly, we have uh, issues to do with affordability and accessibility of healthy foods. Uh, we, we find these foods are not accessible or affordable to poor consumers in urban areas. For smallholder farmers such as Miner, the decision to mechanize his farming methods along with the relative affordability of farming machinery has meant that his yield has steadily risen each time he harvests. Lenny Ruvaga for VOA News, Nairobi, Kenya.